Okay, so today we're gonna work on a crochet bobble stitch. Now, you're gonna first need to make your slip knot. And then, as long as your chain is in multiples of two, you'll be fine for this pattern, for the stitch. So, I'm gonna, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just making a swatch, but I'm gonna go ahead and chain 24. So, in case you don't know how to make a chain, you're gonna yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over your hook and pull through the loop. And that's how you make your chain. So you're just gonna go ahead and do that for however many chains you need for your project. If you're not sure how many you need and you're gonna go by dimensions, just go ahead and make the chain, measure it, and then count them and just make sure that they're in multiples of two. That's very important for this, um, for this stitch. Okay, so go ahead and make your chain, pause the video, and come back when you have finished making the chain, how long you need it. Okay, so once you've finished making your chain, we're gonna start with our row of single crochets. So starting in the second chain from the hook, so here's the first chain from the hook, there's the second, you're gonna make a single crochet. So you're gonna push your hook through the chain, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Now you have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through both loops and that's your single crochet so you're going to do that now in every single stitch all the way down the row I'll just do a couple more with you just in case if you're just learning for the first time how to do these so again push your hook through yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both so go ahead and do your single crochets all the way down the row and come back when you're at the end. Okay, so now that you're at the end of your row and you've finished that row of single crochets, you're going to turn your work. So we're going to go working down this side now. And you're going to start every row by chaining three. So one, two, three. An important thing to remember about this stitch is at the for the very first bobble that we're going to make, um, this chain three is going to count as part of it. Okay, so just keep that in mind, um, and you'll understand why in a minute. Okay, so what we're going to do is make our first bobble into that very first stitch. So we're going to yarn over our hook, push it through the stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Okay, now hold those on there. Yarn over, push through the stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the first two. So this is what I was talking about. Now for every other stitch right now, you would have two on here. But because we have this chain three, which is counting as part of our bobble, it's going to be three. So we're going to count this as one of them. So one, two, three, and we need five of these little parts of the bobble for each one. Okay, so one, two, three, we're going to yarn over, push through, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two. Now we've got four. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, push through, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. So now you should have five loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all five. Okay? In that next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And now we're going to make our next bobble. So now we're going to do this five times. So in here we did it four because we counted the chain three. In all the rest we're going to be going in and doing it five times. So. The first one you'll end with five loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all five. For all the rest of the row, of each row, 
you'll end up with six loops on your hook because you're going into it five times, okay? So let's do this together. Yarn over, push it through your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, push it through your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through the first two. Yarn over, through the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through the first two. Okay, so when you're looking at that, we've now done three. We need to go two more times. So that's one more. And that's our fifth. Okay, so now you should have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six. Go into that next stitch with a single crochet. And we're just going to continue all the way down the row, alternating like this. Okay. So let's do one more of these bobbles together. We're going to do five times into that next stitch there. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two. That's one, two, three, Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six on our hook. Okay. And then single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead and continue doing that all the way down the row and come back when you get to the end. Okay, so now that you've gotten to the end of your row, you're going to turn your work. Sorry, chain one. And now you're going to look on the top and in each stitch, so the one on top of the bobble and between, you're going to make a single crochet. So you're just going to push right through Yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, so you're going to do it in each one. Like I said, you're going to do it in the stitches that are on top of each bobble and the ones that are between each one. So go ahead and do your single crochets and then come back. Okay, so now that you're at the end of that row, you're going to turn your work again. And now for row four, which we're about to do, because our first row was single crochets, our second row was bobble stitches, our third row was single crochets. Now we're about to begin row four. And for row four, we're just gonna repeat row two, where we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna go ahead with our bobble stitch, but don't forget this chain three counts as the first part of it. So we're only gonna do our yarn over, push through, four times in here. So yarn over, and I'm just gonna do the first two with you. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so don't forget for the first one, you'll always only have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five. Single crochet in the next. And now we're gonna go into all the rest five times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
five. Now is where you'll start to see the six on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all of them, single crochet in the next. And that's pretty much it. That's how you do a bubble stitch. So you're just gonna now alternate um, between row one, row two, row one, row two. And you're gonna do that all the way until you have completed the project that you're trying to do. So whether it be a baby blanket, super simple. You're just gonna keep going until you get to the length that you want. If you're doing a hat or something like that, you just need to follow the pattern that you're going with. But for the bobble stitch portion of your project, that's really all there is to it. So I hope this helped you and please subscribe to my channel to get updates on more stitches being added as well as free patterns.